hello friends welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to show you how to create a toggle button and uh, buttons to control the different fields in the dashboard so if you see in my current dashboard i have sales and profit button over here so currently we are seeing the profit per month in this particular chart so if i toggle this button like this then it will change to sales per month okay so this way if i again select this button it will change back to profit like this okay in the next uh, you can see i have created few buttons to select the years so let's say if i select 2018 then both the chart will show the details for the 2018 year <coughs> like this and also i created the buttons for the region over here let's say if i select the east it will show me the profit in the east region and cost per month for the east region likewise okay so like this if you want to make your dashboard more and more interactive you can uh, do a creativity like this so if you want to see how to create a button and a toggle button then I will show you how to create it so watch this video till the end so that you will get very good understanding of how to create buttons in the tableau dashboard now we will create the profit or the sales across the different month okay so we will first create a parameter over here say menu then it will be a boolean and here we will say sales in the alliance and profit there are many ways to create but uh, <coughs> let's try this with different method <coughs> now i am going to create a calculated field menu dot c if menu is true then sum of sales is sum of profit and okay first we will drag the order date over here so we just need a quarter and the month we don't need year so we will plot the year and now we will drag the uh, calculated field over here that is menu.c and we will select the show parameter control over here so if i select cell it is showing the cell data if i select a profit it will show me the overall profit data now i will change this to the bar graph enable the title and yeah this looks good i'll not make any format changing because our focus is to create the buttons in this video okay so i'll hide the label i'll hide uh that is fine we it is it's fine and i'll name it as parameter mm -hmm per month right apply so here it is showing profit per month if i select the sales it will show the sales per month okay so hope you are clear till this point okay now we will create uh, another calculated field okay to toggle button toggle if the menu menu belongs to true false it's then false else true int apply button okay now we will create toggle button over here 
okay now i'll select the shape over here and now what this true false calculated field i will drag into the shape like this okay so i will click on the shape for false it is showing the empty circle that is fine i'll hit on okay then i will change the parameter value to true over here i mean going to say profit and now i will change the type of shape for the true it is filled circle okay so i'll hit on apply and okay and i will make it as an entire view so it will give me a proper button so this is our button that we are going to use into our dashboard okay now next i want to create a cost for a month right you can see in this particular dashboard i will say we have the cost per month so we will go and create the cost cost is nothing but the difference of uh, profit and sales cost profit minus sales right let's go to the order date hit on a month let's shift to the columns like this and our cost data will come here and we will select the uh, bar chart small change in the cost this is our net net cost all right it is showing aggregated cost per each month for entire years whatever we have in the data set okay now month we have cost per month over here all right now what we will do we will have to create the buttons like this for the year all right so to create these we can do one thing i will drag the order date over here we have year and here we have to create a calculate field with the one it will create the sum of one and we have to select the minimum over here and select the bar chart <laughs> now in the axis we have to uh, i mean we have to apply the fixed range and it will be limited to one so that sizing will be the same for all now we will hide label and header over here <clears throat> and now we will enable the title and here in the title we will mark it as white and by 15 like this apply and make it as entire view so this is our button for the year all right now similarly we will create a button for the region and the method will be the same i will create a region but let's say uh, we have 
we have region already so let's try to do this with the category part okay so we will drag the category in the column like this let's say and we have again same same step that we are following container then one horizontal container next to the black container now we will make this blank container to different thing like this so this will make a little bit interactive then again we will use one blank container on the top side and make a change in the background color like this all right now we have this space with us now this is a horizontal container right so what we can do we will simply drag or before that what we can do we will make it horizontal and then here we will apply vertical like this now we will simply drag and drop our worksheets over here or cost per month also like this we don't need this menu so we will cut this down We will select the toggle button over here. Click on this. Then we have the year. We have the category. All right. We will do a little bit of cosmetic changes over here. All right. So now what we can do, we will select the year and we will apply use as a filter over here. So if you click on this, it will use as a filter. Similarly, for the furniture we will select use as a filter and it will show all the details for furniture all right so let's see if i select office and supplies it will show the, the office and supplies data then if i select technology it will show the technology related data and all if i select the 2018 it will show me the data for the 2018 cool this is very cool feature now we have to work on this toggle button so we'll go to worksheet over here click on actions we will create action change parameter toggle button in the dashboard we have the toggle button selected target parameter is our menu true false menu and the field is toggle and we have selected this then we will apply this now our parameter is created now it is showing profit per month if i click this it will show sales per month let me make a full screen over here and now you can see if i select this button like this the type of buttons change and it is showing profit for this particular worksheet right so this is how you can create the toggle button and the buttons <coughs> across the different fields in the tableau dashboard and make your dashboard more and more interactive you can try this with your current project or you can explore this with different data sets to apply your different logic and all if you like this video hit a thumbs up button and you can share your thoughts into the comment session also if you are looking for a specific solution in the tableau report and you are facing a problem you can reach out to me on the linkedin and also you can share your project link 
that you are doing locally we can connect and we can fix the problem together it will be a good learning for all all right guys i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye